Garage got a 2021 Toyota, as Hank Hill would say, Rav 4, not to be confused with a Rav 3. No, but seriously, it's Toyota Rav 4 2021. I'm gonna put a torque, not twerk, uh uh, son, none of that stuff. Lift kit on it, two inches. Let me show you what we got. Check out this bad torque, torque. You gotta say it like, like you're tough, you know, torque. Got our mounting plates right up top. Right below that. Got our spacers. So it looks like a pretty complete, nice kit. Let's do it up. All right, guys, look, first things first, get it lifted, get it up in the air. If you're doing it at home, that's fine too. But get the wheels off the ground. If you can't get the wheels off the ground, I, I can't help you. All right. All right, guys, forgive me for rushing this a little bit, but it's the weekend and I gotta be a good dad and spend time with my kids and my hot wife. So uh, let's move through this. I'll go as fast as I can, try to be as detail-oriented as possible, and uh, we'll get this knocked out. We'll be listening to some tunes along the way. It's about damn time. I, I like that jam. That's pretty cool. All right, guys. You want to go ahead and get your floor jack, get right underneath this ball joint so you can support this. We're going to go ahead and undo these four strut bolts, uh, bolt on this side, nuts on the other side. So undo those, and then undo this meter here. Undo this sway bar link and then undo this clip. The hardest thing about this is getting this sway bar nut off. A lot of times they, the whole thing will spin and the center of it, it's like a six millimeter Allen head. A lot of times, if you even if you try to hold it there, it'll round that out. So I sprayed it with some PB blaster to blast off and see what we got. So the whole thing's spinning. I'm not even gonna bother trying to hold it in the center because it's gonna round out. So what we'll do is we're gonna grab it on the back side with some channel locks. Uh, that will damage the boot. If you're if you're going to do this job, if you already spent the money on a lift kit, just spend the extra money, buy some new sway bar links. That way you've got them, and uh, you don't have to worry about ruining the old ones. So go ahead and get these on here, and you gotta be like E Man type, dude. You gotta have macho, macho, macho hand, yeah. Hope the best. Ready? Hit it, ski cat. Oh, we got it. All right. So we got our knuckle supported. Make sure you've done that before you undo these two strut mount bolts. Put your socket end on the nut side. Don't put it on the bolt head, all right? Then what you can do is to get this out of here, even though this is going in reverse, just push on it at the same time. So I'm gonna push with the gun hand. And he goes ahead and just helps that get out. 14 millimeter here, pop this off. It's that easy. And you can push it with the wrench. I want to get this this clip off on the other side. Don't be like those hacks, man. Don't be like the guys at Grease Monkey or Brakes Plus or you know those dives. So go ahead and get a tool like this, a trim tool. You snake it in behind here. Just give it a little love. Size that thing right out. That way, when you put it back together, it looks like the car came this way. Everything's in place and it's correct. We can go ahead and push this off of here. But what we want to do is secure this knuckle so that it doesn't flop outward and cause the joint to come apart inside das boot. We don't want the brake hose to get stretched or the ABS wire to get stretched. All right, so the hardest one to get to is this one back here. The other ones we can get an impact on. So get your 14 millimeter, get it in there. Give it a little tug. I get my little girly hands in there. So once you've got it loose enough, you, it'll start touching up near the top, and that's okay. What we'll do is, is we're gonna go ahead and undo these other two with the impact. This is only gonna go on one way. The easiest way is just see the little notch right here. Line that up with the notch on the strut. Got our notch here. Let's get a line up with this notch here. Let's see. Pew! Just like that. It's idiot proof, you can't put it on the wrong way. First, we'll go ahead, put some 
some of this Loctite on there. Use it liberally, all right? Now, that doesn't mean, you know, be super liberal, all right? It just means use it, you know, use a lot of it, okay? Unless you're liberal about giving your love for Jesus. All right, so look, in case you missed it the last time, when you go to torque these down, it's a very special, special torque sequence. And, and it may be uncomfortable for some people, but I'm not here to judge. This is how it is. You go torque this down, get it tight, and you got it. You, you know you get it when you your face looks like you're like <coughs> so that one's torqued you go to the next one right? your face and kind of get like all right one yep. more <coughs> and that's the torque spec if there's any confusion about which way it goes in the notch that was on top right here that's going to point you know, towards the engine area. Once you get it up there, go ahead and just, it's, it's not that heavy. I'm using one hand to hold it. Other hand, come up top and get your nut started. Once you have one started, it'll stay there. You can go ahead and get up there and look, you look at the other two while you do it. All right, guys, the trick for this going back together is just get these ones, the, the front two started, because if you pull it all the way tight, that rear one will become so, so high up, you won't be able to get the nut in there. The torque spec, probably three dash to dash. Yep, the torque. Yep, that's torque. In the back one, you should probably make a face that looks like this. That feels about right. All right, so we're going back together. Check it out. You know, the nice thing about this kit is that it actually uses the same sizes that Toyota uses. So it's not like this kit comes with uh, an 18 and a 15, per se, this sway bar link bracket. It's a 17. That's, that's a common. Toyota size, so that's it's, it's almost like factory. It's good stuff. I like it. Mikey, you like it? I like it. Mikey likes it. Mikey likes it. All right, guys, we got the we got the front done. To reiterate, it's just the three bolts up top, or the three nuts up top that hold the strut in, and then you've got your sway bar link, your two strut bolt, and your brake line. All right, guys, so coming from the back of the car, let me show you what we're gonna do. Got the front done, let's do the back, all right? So you got, you got one bolt here, another bolt here, and then if we come back to the back of the car, come over, look straight on up, pow. Got another one here, and another one right here. We're gonna go ahead and loosen those four up. So let's loosen those up, and then we're gonna use, we're gonna use the very, very special the Chris Brink Special. For those that don't know, Chris Brink was a awesome father mechanic. Uh, he was Viper certified. This guy, this guy was badass as far as techs are concerned. Uh, unfortunately, we lost Chris a few years ago, but I got this jack from him. That's why it's called the Chris Brink Special because I don't think anybody else has one of these these badass miniature pole jacks. So uh, we miss you, Chris. Love you. All right, guys, we're gonna bust these out. So guys, we got these, uh, these 22s up here. On this side. All right, so from the back of the vehicle, we have undone and loosened up this bolt here from underneath, this bolt here, and the same on the other side where we have this bolt and this bolt. Now, we're gonna loosen this 12 millimeter here. Chris Brink special here, alleviate some pressure. So we've got those off, we can lower this down some, and we need to lower this low enough that we can, that we can put our spacers in there. All right guys, so once you have the bracket off, you'll see that this, this stud is coming out. Don't freak out. You don't need to drop this all the way down to put your spacer in. What you can do, is take a 10 millimeter and use a six point. Don't use a 12 point on that. And put that on there and we'll take that thing right out. Now it's very important that you take it out like a boss, all right? So you get your big bad Milwaukee out. Oh yeah, oh that's nice. All right, so you pull that stud out, use the Chris Brink Special. If you guys are fortunate to have one, you can use one. We lower it down a little bit, get our spacer right there, pop, pop. Go ahead and take this spacer and slide this on the stud that was coming out before, you put this one in place, and when you tighten the nut up on the other side of that, it's gonna squeeze all this real tight. If you want, you can grab this with some channel locks 
and give it a little squeeze, get a good bite on there. New bolt with the new washer. You use the original bracket, slide that on this part. You want to be gentle with this. You don't want to mess up your ride height sensor. Get them all started. We won't tighten them up until we get uh, the other one in. But it's the same on both sides. All right, so we got Ginger Mikey doing part of our filming duties today. Thank you. Pop that loose. We got our spacer to throw in there. Slip that right in there. And then make sure you can get all of them by hand. Torque them down to about six dac to dax. Let it fly. Professional check. Let's see if I got it. Yep, there we go. I got, I got an eye for torque specs. Yep. Torque. As we go to lower this down, we use the crisp ring special. I like to go ahead and put the pole jack into a couple grooves that are underneath here to kind of keep it, you know, I guess more sturdy, more in place. So it doesn't want to slip out. When you go to to lower the rear control arms. You just wanna undo this guy here, this guy here, loosen up uh, your adjustment bolts here, uh, as well as this. All right, so we took out this 14 here, this 14 here, and then just a 10 millimeter that was holding the sensor up. And now we'll just lower this down some, nice and slow. And you could do this in your driveway. Try to note the orientation of where the spring was sitting and then uh, on both ends so you can match it back up to put it back in so it's, it's in the same spot and you'll be able to see kind of like the witness marks where it was riding lower this bad boy down so we only want to lower it down as far as we need to so as i've lowered it down i got just enough room to push this in here i tried to not rotate the spring at all so it sits in the same position that it was in before now we'll raise it back up you can see in here where the spring was was riding on the seat and we want to put it back in the same position. You'll want to remove this. That way, this little nub can go inside the hole. So make sure you have that lined up. And then you just raise it right back up. So just wind that up, wind it on up, get your bolt holes lined up and sew it back together. All right, just one more that we got a lifted wrap for us. That's it. It's about time. Turn up the music. Sentimental man or woman to pump me up.